What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to set up the Adobe Premiere Pro beta so you can start using song remixing in your Premiere Pro projects. Previously, you had to use Adobe Audition for it to shorten songs to specific lengths, but not really speeding them up and not manually cutting them up. Instead, it uses AI or at least software to split up songs and make them sound nice while fitting in within a specific time range. This is now officially built into Premiere Pro and is coming very soon to the full release. For now, it's available in the beta that you can get as long as you purchased Adobe Audition. Open up the Adobe Creative Cloud software. And of course, if you haven't already got the Adobe Premiere Pro beta, you'll need to go ahead and download it. All you need to do is head across to the beta apps section on the left hand side, scroll down and locate Premiere Pro beta. Click the install button to the right hand side of it. And in a few moments, you should be able to hop right into the new Premiere Pro beta and test out new features. Once it's installed and up to date, you can click open next to it to go ahead and open it up. Of course, this will take some time, especially if it's the first time you're launching up the software. And on top of this, it'll need to download and install the Adobe Media Encoder Beta too. So that'll also take some time to complete. Eventually, when it does load up, it'll start scanning through plugins and VSTs, which will also take time to complete. Now that the program's opened up, we can close out of the tutorial and start a brand new project. If you're looking to copy across your settings and things like that from a previous version of Premiere Pro, check the description down below for a guide on how to do so. So I'll simply just create a new sequence called sequence one. I really don't like this new layout, but anyway, after we open up a new sequence, we can go ahead and import media as usual. For example, I'll be importing a picture that I used recently in a thumbnail and I'll be importing a song as well. For this, I'll be using the royalty free home resonance that you've probably heard many times before. Of course, playing the song, it sounds pretty much normal. So let's say your video is only about 20 seconds long and we want this three minute or so song to fit into that. How do we get that to happen? Well, if we select the song itself and we head up to the window section and enable the essentials sound panel, which will pop up on the right hand side, we can open up the music tab here and under duration, if we tick this, you'll see that we're able to adjust the target duration and set it to stretch or remix. Previously, the remix option was only available inside of Adobe Audition. So we can go ahead and enter zero minutes, say 20 seconds and zero, zero there. And it'll try and shorten it to as short as possible while keeping it sounding relatively good. Not too sure why the preview has vanished. Maybe I just need to save and restart the project. Yes, there we go. I've got the preview working now. And you'll see a bunch of little squiggly lines, which means breaks. If I go ahead and play the first five seconds, you'll hear exactly what's happening. Or maybe you won't. And that's the beauty of it. Okay, well, it's incredibly noticeable as obviously I'm crashing down three minutes into 20 seconds and it's trying its best. We do have other options here like preferred edit lengths to make the edits shorter or longer and feature things more like harmonics over timbre, etc, etc. This is pretty advanced stuff and may take some time to learn properly. Of course, that may be a bit too much. Let's focus more on, say, timbre of the music and see what happens. And maybe raise the edit length to the medium of five. Still trying its best, but of course it's shortening something way too far. That is pretty much a crash course on how to use this little feature up here. Something else that was introduced in the controls panel over here under the ripple edit tool. If you hold it, you'll notice a new remix tool. You can drag and shorten audio much like you would usually, but when you set it to a specific length, it'll try and create a song piece that's about that length. Though of course it's not exactly perfect. It'll try its best though. With a bit of playing around, you can eventually get it working to something more like you need. Of course, it's always best to make manual edits on top of this, such as making things quieter towards the end, maybe within the song, etc, etc. It's really up to your own creative needs. But at this point, things are a hell of a lot easier. And in fact, I wouldn't even need to use Adobe Audition anymore if I wasn't doing any voice work on top of that. That's really the only feature that I used for Audition, hence I needed to pay for it as well. It's nice and simple, and of course, it is a beta, so things may not work properly. It'll eventually come around to the full release, but not quite just yet. 
Anyways, if you'd like to know how to migrate your settings, preferences, etc. from one version of Premiere Pro to another, do check the description down below for a guide on how to do so, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!